We remember what it was like to live in a society of secrets. We remember that you can't have true freedom and live your freedom without the right to know. We call on our government not to undermine the constitution of South Africa. It would be undemocratic to withhold information from the people of South Africa. We believe that the ruling party should engage with various lobby groups. Ladies and gentlemen, we have nothing to hide and therefore we don't need any bill that will obscure the truth. The truth will set us free. I'm ashamed for the first time in my life to speak in front of my parliament. What is happening here is that people who are not delivering what they should be delivering are trying to cover that up by bringing in a secrecy bill. It's as simple as that. Why in God's name do we have to march again against a government which we thought in the beginning was our own? Because this bill is a betrayal of all the democratic principles we fought for. Don't be fooled by the spin. Today we had 3,000 Cape Townians here today marching from District 6. We want you to take the message to the Speaker of Parliament and we want you to please tell Minister Siabonga Kwele that we reject his secrecy yes. vote. The members of this committee will decide, mainly the ANC members, and will bear the responsibility before the people and before history of what is being decided here. So I think that we must move away from malicious mischief of frightening South Africans and telling them that there is an intention on the part of the state to conceal corruption, to classify willy-nilly, to give authority to every Jack and Jill, to classify anyhow, anywhere, every piece of information. If our constitution means anything, it means that you have to be able to justify every decision, whether it is ours in writing a law or that of an official um, deciding whether or not to classify a document. Human rights must supersede secrecy and must supersede uh, as, as state information. That is our crime battle. I want to assure okay. the media, I want to assure South Africans today that if there is a principle we will never deviate from. And we could therefore take out sections 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, the national interest, and from chapter 10 onwards, again, you can draw a line through almost everything, 